hey guys so welcome back to the channel in this particular video we're going to be looking at how to upload an image or select an image from our gallery and display it on our image view so this is actually very useful because sometimes in your app you might want your users to select an image from their gallery and you might want to display it on your image view or possibly send it to your server so it's actually very useful so this video it's actually a continuation of my last video so if you're yet to see that i really really recommend that you see it first before you come back and continue with this the reason is so that you'll be in sync with everything that i've been doing concerning camera and also i'll be putting the link to that video in the description below do well to check that out so guys without wasting much time let's jump right into it now in the last tutorial so we learned how to capture images from our camera which is what we see here so now what we want to do here will be to upload an image so we're gonna go to our activity main layout we're gonna add a new button all right so this new button we're gonna use it to select image from our gallery so i'm gonna paste it here instead of this capture button i'm gonna change this to upload button okay so i'm gonna change the test as well to upload image all right so now that we have this ready we're going to return to our main activity so we're going to define an instance of our new button so this is going to be button upload button now we're going to go ahead and reference it so i'm going to come here and say upload button will be equal to as usual boom so we have that now the next thing we want to do will be to add a click event handler for our upload button okay so now that we have that just the way we did for our take photo we're going to create a new asynchronous method we're going to call this method upload photo okay now we're going to go ahead and write the code so i'm going to say await cross media dot current dot initialize so this will go ahead and initialize the nugget package that will help us to select images from our gallery guys remember that we all did this in the last tutorial so do well to watch the video i've already mentioned that so i'm gonna go ahead and say if not cross media the current dot is supported is speak photo supported so we're gonna check if we can actually select an image from the device so if this is true so if this device is not supported we're gonna go ahead and create a toast to notify our user that he can actually select images from this device i'm going to say this say device upload not supported on this device okay so this is more like extra level of check boom now the next thing we need to do will be to say return now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and select our image so i'm going to save our file this will be equal to await cross media dot current dot pick photo async boom so just like we did before we're gonna go ahead and set the attributes that we want if you want the photo size to be large or want to compress the quality we can do that here so i want the photo size to be i want it to be full now i want to compress the quality i want to set it to 40 right now when we have so now when we have that the next thing we need to do will be to convert the file to a byte array and convert the byte array to a bitmap and set the bitmap to our image view so to do all of that i'm going to first of all create a comment to explain what we're doing so this is what we're going to be doing so i'm going to say byte array i'm going to call this byte array image array this should be equal to system.io dot file dot read all bytes so here i'm gonna say file the part okay so the next thing would be to say bitmap i'm gonna call this bitmap this should be equal to bitmap factory dot decode byte array and i'm gonna pass it our image array and i'm gonna set this to zero i'm gonna set this to image array dot length boom now finally we're gonna go ahead and set this bitmap to our image view so this image dot set bitmap image i'm gonna pass a bitmap okay so now that we've done all of this 
we're gonna go ahead and call this method in our upload button click event handler so here i'm gonna say upload photo i'm gonna just call this method here now let's see how everything works out okay so we're gonna go ahead and run the app okay so our app is starting boom okay so now we have two buttons i'm gonna go ahead and click on upload image so you can see it brought out the activity for us to select our items so we have two camera items we're gonna go ahead and select this boom so as you can see it was well set just the way we planned it so what this actually means is that if you're making use of a real device you can actually see images in your gallery like real images in your gallery and you can select any of them and it will get uploaded to your image view so other cool things that you can do would be to send the image that you uploaded to your server so this is what we are going to be doing in our next tutorial we're going to be looking at how to upload images that we captured from our camera or selected from our gallery to firebase storage so guys hope you really enjoyed the tutorial and you've learned something new if you really like this video go ahead and hit the like button and do well to share it to your friends and family and if you're yet to subscribe to the channel please consider hitting the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you can always get notified whenever i make this kind of video but for now see you soon